That means up next, the New York Giants at yeah. number two. Dave Gettleman now comes in as their leader. Yep. Uh, Eli Manning's 37. We just showed that yep. moments ago. There's a lot of fans out there in New York saying, we got to get Eli's replacement <laughs> right now. What do they do? Here's the deal. First, you have to understand Dave Gettleman a little bit, okay? In four years as the GM in Carolina, he never traded down once. He likes to stay in his lane. He has a hard belief in his evaluation skills, and he stays there and takes the best guy available. Now, this year in New York, it's an, really an intriguing proposition. Number one, if he thinks and they think there's a franchise quarterback that they bang the table for at number two, that trumps every other need. You've got to protect the future of the franchise beyond Eli. However, he might have an opportunity to move down to five or six, leverage extra draft picks. But remember, he hasn't done that very often. And finally, if he just sits there at number two and takes the best football player in this draft, Saquon Barkley, uh -oh. welcome to New York. Now, I'm talking six foot, 233 pounds. He ran 4-4, and... I think he's the best football. I call it the big three. Saquon Barkley, Bradley Chubb, and Quentin Nelson are the three best players in this draft. He's special. The Giants commit to him in the run game. He catches the ball out of the backfield. He makes it easier for Eli, and he buys them time to develop that offensive line. Love the pick right now. They could go Chubb, mm -hmm. who makes sense also. They could go Nelson, but I think he's the best player in the draft. Saquon Barkley, more than 5,000 yards from scrimmage in three years there in Happy Valley. He can get it done. What makes him so special? Well, again, when you watch the film, he's a legitimate top 10 running back. Now, at 233 pounds, watch this jump cut, lateral jump cut. Now the 4-4 speed. Watch this, folks. Just watch this. Break an ankle, break another oh, oh, oh. ankle, run away from people. That's a crazy run against Iowa. Now look at the, this is what I love, the contact balance, the lower body strength. He's a weight room freak. He runs through that, and there comes 4-4 again. Now this is a joke. Watch the pass game. Little stick nod route against a linebacker or a safety. A little bit like a Le'Veon Bell, a big back that you can split out and run routes. Here's the only knock on him. Too many times, jump cuts, trying to turn and gain extra yardage. Almost ran himself into a safety there against Ohio State. I watched that film against Ohio State. He had 8 to 10 negative runs. Now, that's nitpicking. I think he was frustrated. Teams were geared up to stop him. Trust me, he's a generational back. And if you look at Gurley, Fournette, Ezekiel Elliott, you commit 20 to 25 touches to this kid, and they're a different football team. All right.